Local mystery writer Michael Haskins is back with me today. Now, Michael has just released the seventh book in his Mick Murphy mystery series. This one is entitled To Beat the Devil. Michael, it's always a pleasure having you on the show. Oh, it's a pleasure Thank to you. be here again. Thanks Thank for joining for me. me. All right, Michael. To Beat the Devil, this title sticks out immediately to me. How did you come up with the title? Uh, it's a Chris Christopherson song. Uh, the titles uh, are aren't copyrighted. So I, I pick a lot of my titles from titles of songs that I enjoy or listen to and I think have something to do with the story in the book. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in this case is there's uh, it's terrorists, which would be the devil and a lot of other bad guys involved in it. And some of them should have been good guys but they weren't. So I, I thought the title fit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. Well, it's very catchy, Michael, the title. So I'm sure that the book, you know, also grabs your attention. Tell me about this book. It's a little bit different, Michael, than your yeah. others. Um, it, it's, a, it's, the, it's really the only book that follows the book before. All my others are basically stands alone. This is standalone, too, but if you read Stairway to the Bottom, the end of it is Big Murphy has lost everything but his life. So when this book began, I said, well, I don't want him to be a Superman. You know, and he's not Bruce Willis jumping out of buildings. So I start the book telling the story in the voice of his friend, Nom. And it's six months to a year later, and Murphy is uh, physically better, but mentally he's still messed up. And there's a, a, a comment in there where Nom says that, you know, Murphy's painkiller is vengeance. He's, it starts off there after Alexei, the Russian gangster that was responsible for all these things that happened to him in the other book. And it doesn't start in Key West. It starts in, in Fort Lauderdale, goes to Mexico, goes to Louisiana, and then comes back to Key West. But when they return to Key West, well, about 125 pages later, the book goes to part two and Murphy is telling the story now and, and what happens and you see his progress he doesn't want to be in Key West it's got no good memories for him but they found a, a document from the Russian in Russian and the only person they trust to, to uh, translate it is somebody they know in Key West so he comes back with the idea of translate it and get the hell out and you know as things progress it, it suddenly there's a terrorist attack is going to take place and he has to choose between going after Alexei, who was involved in the terrorist attack, or trying to notify authorities. Mm -hmm. And of course, he, he decides to notify authorities who don't want to listen to him. And it's, it's days from when they find out what's going to happen to when it's scheduled to happen. Mm -hmm. So I had a lot of fun with uh, creating new characters in the, uh, the, the conclusion of the book. Well, it sounds so interesting, Michael, and I, I love your character, Mick Murphy. You, you feel like you know him after reading the books, and how much longer, Michael, is Mick Murphy going to stay alive? <laughs> oh, well, I'm working, how many more books? <laughs> I'm working on a sequel uh, now. I've, I've got finished uh, four chapters, and it will take Murphy from here to Los Angeles, all Irish pubs to Molly Malone's in Los Angeles, to uh, Thatcher McGee's in Pompton Lakes, New Jersey, and then over to Dublin. And uh, I fortunately get to go to all these places for my research. Okay, uh, so you have some trips scheduled. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, I, I hope Mick Murphy stays alive for a while and you can Me too. continue. <laughs> <laughs> you too, right? It would be hard to find he, another character. He, well, he, he's, uh, uh, m most of the characters, like you said, uh, are almost uh, friends mm -hmm. and that's w that's why the beginning of this book to to be true to your friends I couldn't make McMurphy start off well I'm gonna get Alexi and just take off mm -hmm. he, he's uh, he's a pretty sick individual mentally in the beginning of this book completely different Murphy than anybody has seen that that has read the books mm -hmm. and he doesn't start to heal himself mentally uh, until he gets back to Key West, and then he's fighting it until 
I think it's at Hopper and Harry's when he suddenly realizes that he hadn't been there in a year and everybody's treating him like they did a year ago and nothing has changed and he, he starts to to accept Key West and at the end of it of course he he realizes that this is his home and he'll stay here. Mm -hmm. Well so, good. I'm yes. glad that he'll stay in Key West because then that means that you'll be writing about Key West in the future with your books. Uh, I think, I think uh, a friend of mine, a writer from Boston, Jerry Healy, said that I've made Key West a character in the book. So mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the characters you don't want to kill off. No, you definitely don't. And you've received recognition for how you portray Key West in your books. There was a great article in the Irish Times about your storytelling, Michael, and they complimented you to no end. Right. I, uh, uh, a Canadian friend of mine read that and, and sent me a link to it on the Irish Times. It was surprised. I was, uh, probably had nothing to do with when the Irish reporter was here last year doing his research that I, I showed him where some of the good bars were. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why he remembered the, it. <laughs> the, the secret of, of uh, how you get your name mentioned in the newspaper. There you go. Yeah. Well, Michael, thank you for being back on. And hopefully oh. everybody can pick up their copy of To Beat the Devil. Check out Michael's books. You won't want to put them down once you pick them up. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.